Alright, what is going on you guys? Team Budget here and today we're bringing you guys a rogue deck profile and um, this is Michael. What deck are you playing? Uh, Tenny. Tenny. I went uh, X1 at the charity event. Only took one loss. It's all for charity. Good thing. Okay, uh, any shout out before we enter the deck yeah, profile? Yeah, uh, Field Centers, Hyper Bean Gaming. Uh, awesome Field Centers. Every time I give them a my art or a art uh they always come out really good so these uh team budget uh team for budget, just, them, uh, putting out the rogue support rogues you gotta support please the rogue, support dude. rogue decks uh please <clears throat> and right. uh budget definitely budget yeah <laughs> all right so um let's get into it dude uh i don't know if these are there's a budget now but these aren't specifically budget so uh there's three cheaper ones. There's cheaper ones there you go cheaper ones and nibiru these are kind of like must-haves these are cool to draw into especially with the field spell uh, so yeah, these are just five hand trips. Uh, the one Mare Mare, I might change it up to the Need Hog because the new support just came out. So, but this one like uh, enables that Palooza. Do you want to explain why you run Mare Mare? Uh, this is a worm. The whole deck is pretty much worm. Uh, this one brings out uh, three tokens, so um, it's really good. Shout out to uh, Hyperbeam Gaming for the tokens. They're very cute. But yeah, this one just enables a lot, a lot of link climbing, link plays, and uh, this one alone can uh, help you just come back from a game. Uh, the one ups, uh, just these ones, tenies, one of each. Why? Uh, because um, I'm not really going for an exceed play, I'm going for four ranks, and they, their effects aren't that great. One's a battle effect, one's a targeting effect, but the field spell does the same, and it only works on um, non effect monsters. Um, <laughs> This is the uh, one of the best cards in the or the second best card in the deck, uh, Vishuda. Everyone plays it. It's the best card probably just in general, but yeah, uh, it just gets rid deck. of everything. Sometimes they'll activate a floodgate, and then I can still go into my uh, Link One, and this will just bounce the floodgate so I can play through. Um, this will bounce. It's pretty much bounces anything, and it's coming out super, so that's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. Uh, the next one is um, Adhera. Uh, this one is just uh, just. Let's you grind. This deck shouldn't grind, but uh, it grinds, unfortunately. <laughs> so sometimes they can make uh, your duels long, but that's okay. It helps you grind, and this one just brings back your resources. You banish it and add a banished worm. So you could even, let's say they DD Crow your um, one of Mare, Mare you could still get your Mare, Mare back. So it's just uh, returns a worm. Uh, this is the new support that they just got, I think, about a few weeks ago. Uh, this one lets you special directly from the... Um, from the deck, a, a worm, so, uh, or is it a tenny? A tenny. And that one just enables you to have a one card kind of combo to uh, link oh, no, climb into all worms. So, um, yeah, that one's really good. It gave it a lot of support. Yeah. I played three of, a lot of people play two or one of. Um, this one's just good just because um, they're gonna pop your big, uh, your big beater, the 3000 uh, beater, and this one just brings it back. And um, they think that it just brings it back, but it also has uh, two, two effects. If your non-effect monster is destroyed, uh, you can banish it to special summon it and destroy a card. So uh, sometimes they forget to read that part. So you know you get post love to read. They don't. Um, that's <laughs> they the. Uh, they don't. <laughs> um, so that's the monster count. Uh, like I said, I would only recommend the uh, Need Hog uh, because you can uh, special summon it, and, and you could also search it. Need Hog, they're all searchable, and I'll show you how you can search them. Um, the field spell. So this is uh, for some reason. All duelists are super scared of this card. Like as soon as I, I just play it out there and I leave a face down card because it still activates the face down, or if I leave a non-effect monster, uh, they're still really scared of it. So um, they always react to it, and most of the time um, they they want to pop it before I draw my two cards. But okay. usually I just get the two cards. Okay, but why are you running at three then? I don't run at three, uh, just because it, it's cloggy. Like uh, you know that meme where it says, uh, "I want to sometimes see it, but I don't want to see it all the time." Well, yeah. it's true. Mm -hmm. I, I see it just enough uh, uh, when I when I dig into it into the deck. So um, it's not that great to be honest, but I think it's just a good protection if you end up on like a subpar board. Yeah. So um, and then this is not budget, but you could also get the commons. Is it, it commons? Is the commons. Is yeah, you can get the commons. So you can play that, and just because you're running so many three ofs. Um, it doesn't really matter if you banish, like, uh, there's really no combo piece, it's just two tangies and you go off. So, uh, definitely, uh, Pod Desires is really good in this, in this deck. Uh, Upstart Goblin, uh, and Scapegoat, these are just my one-offs. One, because, uh, that way I can play 39 cards and, uh, probably draw into a combo piece. Scapegoat, because it helps you trigger the field spell and also helps you trigger, so good, like, so good. Uh, a lot of your, uh, your, your counter traps. So these are good, and then it uh, helps you to just link climb as well, so... Um, this one is really good, really shiny. I love it. 
Uh, and this is your searcher slash dump. So if you have, uh, just by itself, it dumps a, a, uh, a worm. But if you also have the uh, non-effect monster, it lets you add a tangy. So you could always dump, uh, like I said, the new card Needhog, or you can dump Mare Mare. That's kind of the way you're searching, especially back with one of your tangy links. So this is like the best card. And they usually, I usually try to go into Desire, activate Desires first, and uh, they'll ash it, and then this one just goes off by itself. So, um, yeah, it's really good, because they always ash Desires. For trap cards, I'm playing uh, just like uh, all three ofs. So the uh, counter, it's unfortunate that it doesn't destroy. It just um, negates. It just negates. But the, it has an alternative, uh, it has like another effect where if they destroy it with like Twin Twist or whatever, um, I get to bring out a non-effect monster from That's the so extra good. deck. Uh, this one, uh, during one of my uh, rounds against this guy, uh, mm -hmm. I drew seven. <laughs> cause seven I, cards I, Yeah, because card. uh, he had played Mystic Mine, and um, I just drew into seven trying to uh, get into it and out, but uh, I actually didn't out. I decked out. <laughs> but that's out, the most... He, he <laughs> drew seven up. I drew this seven. Card. This card is really good because you can either... too OP. Uh, you could also use it reactionary. Let's say they try to banish one of your monsters or destroy something on the field. You can activate you this card. Yeah. yeah, and then just get rid of it. I mean, I was gonna get, it was going to go away anyways. Might as well get rid of it to draw a card. So this one's pretty good. And then um, three Lost Wind. Uh, this card's actually really good, and I'll, I, I've seen it a lot, a lot now. But because uh, you you discard to special with your deck, so if you discard this one, you could always bring it back the next turn and just set it uh, when your opponent special summons. So this card's good to just twice, yeah, yeah, you can just use it as a yeah, use it twice. And then my win condition of the whole deck, uh, skill drain, it just to win games. Like if I flip it and they don't have the out, then they they lose. Exactly. Who runs so. normal monsters, so it really doesn't affect them, nope. and it just affects his opponent most N of the time. Non effect monsters, yeah. So they're just all beat. So it's big perfect. Beats. Uh, so I play uh, everything's link except these two. So, uh, worst case scenario, the, the worst board you can make is a Dweller. So that's the worst board you can make if you just have two tenies. You make uh, you two rank fours, and there's so many rank fours here. Uh, and then that's it. Uh, uh, that, so that could also be a win condition on itself. So how's this one doing you? Uh, I see a lot it of people enables, use it anymore. Yeah, it enables, it enables OTK, oh so if it attacks a monster, oh when it destroys it, it gains the attack, and it can attack again. So they always, people all forget that they, this one can attack again. And sometimes I'll just end on him, and um, I'll banish uh, when an effect is activated. He can banish that card, so um, that's so that's really good. Just banishing it, so um, yeah. I wonder why nobody uses it. Yeah, it's uh, it's all right. Um, and then my link ones, just because I do have a link one and the scapegoats. Uh, these are the ones for the scapegoat and the link one. And this one should be Appalooza, but I'm trying to keep a budget. So um, it's, it's my doing, only right? rank four, uh, and yeah, I didn't really go into it i'd rather go into appalooza but um by the time you go into appalooza i mean they already need beer. <laughs> they already need beard you didn't want yeah. you to go into that so but still so you just the only rank four i have uh just trying to, keep, trying to keep it yeah trying to keep a budget so it was good uh these two are good because um this one is just a generic rank two so you can special two tangies go into this and then some of your cards are active and that's another worst case scenario you just end on this guy because he's so generic and it's a normal just and you guys yeah it's a non-effect monster yeah. yeah and then this one you could always co-link it with this one so if you do this you can bounce a card or if you uh do this you can bounce a card so it's a it's kind of a small tech but i have seen it in some profiles so it always just goes either here or here and it it, it goes off so security dragon and then this one um usually the ending board is this and a the synchro or this and the the this one the three thousand attacker so this one can't be destroyed by uh, your opponents by battle by effect monsters so he stays alive so they have to react to it so they have to use an effect to get rid of it and then this one is uh, if they're wasting their resources on this one they're gonna leave this one alive and this one with the field spell is already pretty strong and it's a normal it's a no, yeah normal non effect monster a beat stick. uh yeah so there's pretty strong so play two of those uh one to bring out one for in case to destroy it i usually don't bring out two um because i just keep recycling these uh and you can recycle these with um uh shaman so this one you discard a card and special summon any worm monster but for for that turn on you cannot activate any effects ex except worms so you can still special summon other type of monsters you just can't activate their effects so uh the what, what if you want to add uh different cards uh let's say for like let's say you want to summon an abyss dweller then you can't activate the effect this turn but you can just do it next turn uh which is good 
So this one just enables you to go off. Uh, I'm actually debating on actually playing Call by the Grave because this card is just really, really good. Because uh, you want this to go off. Um, and you don't want it to be negated. But if they have the Imperm, then yeah, that sucks. And yeah, but then, if, you, if you were to run Call, Call by the Grave, would you run it at three? Uh, no, no, two. Just two. Just, yeah. That's one of those cards that like I do not want to see it. You do, but, but I want to have it. Yeah, like I don't yeah, want to see okay. it every turn. I want to top deck yeah, into yeah. it, but I want to see it in my opening hand. Yeah, yeah. And then this card is like the best card in the deck because without it, you can't, you can't play. So That's pretty much point. any, yeah. yeah. So pretty much you special summon any by its effect, and you link into this one. And then you can special summon one more, one more because you have a non-effect monster, and you could even link into this one if you want to waste the resources, or if you need to uh, put a resource, or if you know who you're playing, and now you can special summon a third one. So. Wow. Uh, either one, uh, sometimes I'll just, I won't go into this one, I'll just go into Shaman, so Link 2, Shaman, Discard, and then Special, another one from the deck, so, uh, yeah, without this card, you wouldn't be able to start, it's just really a one card starter, and then, um, uh, yeah, this is the, pretty much the, yeah, again, the best, the best card. Yeah, normal. Special, Link, and start climbing to whatever you want. So, uh, side? No side. I, I, I took the side out for the YCS, so I, I actually didn't take uh, Tenny. I took uh, Grand Manjo TK. And, uh, uh, what do you think they should put inside, though? In the side, uh, I've seen a lot of stuff. This is what I had left over from the previous one, uh, Floodgates, so just Summon Limits. Um, anything that the, it has a really hard... Um, once they wipe your board completely, then you have a really hard time... Um, uh, making a comeback. That's why, like, uh, scapegoat is like it could be a it's one a card comeback. Too, yeah. yeah, it's a good uh, comeback. Stall and a comeback. Yeah. Um, another thing would be, um, you know, you have already like some main deck cards. I would say uh, for Thunder Dragon matchup, I would I would side for Thunder Dragon whatever you feel comfortable with. I did side System Downs for Orcus. I decided Twin Twisters for uh, Sky Striker and. Um, Anti-meta. Yeah, generic stuff. Yeah, so just generic stuff. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, there's it's so diverse. Sighting is so diverse. So it's whatever you really want. Okay, well, that was the deck profile. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks to Michael again for the deck profile. And um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Drop your comments down. Um, something could have done different maybe. And yeah, uh, remember, keep it budget. Keep it budget. <laughs> yeah.